Hi, I'm Kim with InStyle. I'm here with Fitbit Ambassador Harley Pasternak, and today he's going to show us how to get a revenge body. Absolutely. I'm going to put you through the same leg movements as all the women on Khloe Kardashian's revenge body. Not that you have anyone to get a revenge body on. Should someone bump you on the subway or whatever mm -hmm. it is, you can look them down and just go right into a reverse lunge. I like it. Right. I feel fired up already. Perfect. And we don't need a gym because I'm going to show you a few moves today that don't require any equipment and that you can do anywhere, anyhow, anytime. First thing we're gonna do, just simple, feet shoulder width apart. You've done this one before, you're familiar with this. It's just a simple squat, sinking down through your heels, right where your arch and your heel meet, and get familiar with that movement. Ideally, you wanna bring your hips down to your knee, and sometimes people have really tight hamstrings or tight hip flexors, and it's difficult to do so, and they cheat by bringing their upper body down or by not going very deep. So be familiar with that range of motion, because this is the foundation of some of the other things we're gonna be doing. Okay. Next move is a reverse Can lunge. Can I stop now? You can stop. <laughs> I'm gonna have you walk to the front of the mat, and first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move our right leg back, drop it down, and then return, switch sides. This is an alternating reverse lunge. I love a reverse lunge rather than a forward lunge. It's easier on the knees. You can sink down through your heel, so there's more glute involved. And it's an isolateral movement, so it's one leg, moving individual of the other leg. When you're doing a squat, it's hard to tell if your dominant side is doing all the work. But now, you're actually able to do one leg at a time, and that's a reverse lunge. So how many sets and reps do you recommend you do of these moves? So there's two ways of measuring. Number one is by actually counting every single repetition. And that could range, depending on your fitness level, from 10 repetitions to 30 repetitions, three sets to five sets, or you can do it by time. So how many do you do in a minute? Maybe sets of one minute of work, pause for a minute, one minute of work, and depending on who you are and how well you know yourself, select either counting reps or counting time. Great advice, thank you.